In today's very special episode, Kale does some much needed organizing in the soap studio, and then we review soaps from six different soap companies, as well as open a package from another small business. All of that and more in Vlogmas Day 18. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. It's a snowy day outside, cold. What's that? Oh my goodness. This is the current state of our storage room. And it would be good if I can get all of this in there as well. We have a lot of our ingredients in these totes over here. Whenever we need to fill up one of the bags over in the studio, it seems like I always go through every tote two or three times before I find what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna go the old fashioned way, write some uh, post-it notes on what's on the inside of each of these totes and slap those on. I think that's pretty well organized for now. We still have these bits and bobs over here. A lot of these are just containers, plastic vessels, things we may not use very often. So I'm gonna consult with Jerrica on what we're gonna do with those. What are you up to? I'm uh, just looking at these timers that we got from Costco for the Christmas lights. Oh, nice. Yeah, we yeah. still have to put up that Santa. Should we review these soaps that we got from the Spruce Meadows Christmas market? Yeah, we need to do that. And for the earrings of the day, I'm wearing a green butterfly on one side and a rose with green leaves on the other. I felt like wearing green today, so I'm wearing also a green shirt. And this is the shirt that I actually wore yesterday, but it's still clean, so I'm wearing it today. If you guys have been following our Vlogmas since day one, you will know that we went to the Spruce Meadows Christmas Market where we supported as many soap makers and small soap businesses as we could find. And we said that we would review those soaps in a later video and today is that video. Ready to sniff some soap? Okay, let's see here. Let's pull them all out first. So we picked up six soaps from six different soap businesses, and we tried to get a variety of different scents. And in this review, we're gonna talk about the scents, the packaging. We're not gonna talk about the performance. That'll probably be in a different video down the line when we use these in the shower. So let's dive right in. Maybe we should go in the order we purchased them in. Okay, do you know. remember? I, I think that's kind of how my mind is. Yeah, it's like sequentially. I remember this was the first one. Okay. So this bar is from Soap and Stone and it is their eucalyptus spearmint bar or spearmint eucalyptus salt bar. These soaps are made in High Prairie, Alberta and it smells really good. I was drawn to the smell of that oh, one. Oh, so refreshing. And it looks like it's scented with just essential oils. I really like the size of this bar. Whoa, this is one of the biggest bars we got. No, it is the biggest bar we got. It's quite thick. Yeah, that's the thing that sticks out. This is probably almost twice as big as any of the other ones. Yeah, and do you remember how much it cost? This was $10. $10. Yep. The only packaging was this piece of craft colored cardstock and taped in the back. So very, very simple packaging. I love this design up here, this nice detail. And it says that it's infused and energized with green calcite. And it's no frills. It's a bar of soap, but it just comes off so elegant. And the second one we got is from Boness Soapworks. And in the scent, Espresso Cinnamon. This soap is made in Calgary. When we first grabbed this, I don't think it smelled very strong, but now I'm smelling it a lot better. I think you're right. And this is another soap that is scented in just essential oils. And much like this bar soap, the only packaging you get is this sleeve. 
and they sold it I guess naked is the best term for it. <laughs> so another no frills soap, but if I just pull it out of the sleeve here, this is a cool detail. There is a stamp of their company Ooh. on the soap itself, and they have a nice coffee bean right there. I really like how the back of it has this coffee swirl, and it looks like there's some coffee grinds in there. That's gonna be nice and exfoliating in the shower. Yeah, I'm excited to use this one for the texture of the coffee beans. Mm -hmm. And it says that they use Devil's Head Nicaragua coffee in this bar. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. I love coffee bars. I love a good scrubby coffee bar. So I'm excited to try this out in the shower as well. The next soap we picked up was from Toria in the scent Turmeric and Oatmeal. It's hard to smell through the packaging. I don't think it has a really a strong scent. Yeah, I can yeah. smell more turmeric than I can oatmeal. And if I look at the ingredients, I don't see fragrance oil in this, so this is more of a natural bar, but I was drawn to it because of the use of turmeric in it. I've never tried a turmeric soap bar before, and here turmeric is great for the skin. The soap bars are packaged in a shrink wrap with a sticker in the front, and it's beautiful. This looked really great on their shelves, and I love a good rustic top. The design on the top does it for me. The next soap we picked up was from a company called Clean O2. This soap is made in Calgary. And their thing was soap made with carbon captured by Clean O2. And in the back, they have an explanation of what that means. Because <laughs> we weren't sure at first. Mm -hmm. So the first step was capturing carbon X units and CO2 from buildings. And they convert that carbon into carbonate. And they infuse the soaps with this. And that gives their soap their silky suds. The carbon stays sequestered even after you scrub. That's pretty impressive. So their brand is very environmental, and I would say that their branding is very strong. I really like their packaging. The soap boxes are very cool. I like the colors that they had. Mm -hmm. And we picked up the Renewable Rose scent, and this smells so good. Yeah, I was drawn to the rose smell at their table. And even though it's in a box, there's a little sniff hole at one end. So that's a cool feature of the box. Sniff um, hole? <laughs> yeah. This bar does contain a fragrance oil, and it's really nice. Mm, mm -hmm. Let's take it out of the box and show you what it yeah. looks like. Let's give it a fair <laughs> smell, not just use the sniffle. Yep. Oh, it's big. Oh, look at this detail. The world's first carbon capture soap. Gorgeous bar. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. Mm, yep. It says there's wine in this. That's probably what makes it this color. I've never soaked with wine. I really want to try it. Yeah. Yeah, any type of alcohol I haven't done yet, but I'm really tempted to give it a shot. The next soap is from a company called Soap So Co. And they sold the soap in these really cute linen bags, which I love. And the soaps themselves are sold in these beautiful boxes. I really love minimalist design, and I adore these little holes right here so you can smell the soap easier. We picked up their soap in the scent Stripes, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I was really drawn to this soap. I initially wanted their soap Judy, which was a gorgeous rainbow soap, but they had promised their last soap bar to a little girl who really wanted that soap. How could we argue with that? <laughs> so we picked up the next best thing. This soap called Stripes was similar in that it had that same stripe design as Judy. It was also designed like a rainbow. Oh, that smells good. Refreshing. Yep. Yeah. How would you describe the scent of stripes? Ooh. Floral yet invigorating. Yeah, very clean and fresh smelling. Flowers, for sure. Mm -hmm. And some oranges in there. And they are located in Edmonton. Look how beautiful the sides are, too. That is just so gorgeous. And the last soap that we picked up is Jack Frost by... Acadian Heart Soap Company, who we've run into a few times actually. This is our second soap that we bought from her, and she is also located in Calgary. Another gorgeous box design. I love the heart cutout. And we wanted a Christmas soap. All the mm. other soaps were Christmas themed, but yeah, we picked up her Jack Frost soap, mm. and that smells really good. Yep, peppermint. It's, yeah, nice peppermint scent with vanilla and pine. Mm. And I love the sides of the box, how they have more information. Definitely try to use all sides of the soap bar when you're communicating things about your soap. Oh. Wow, so cool. Beautiful, yeah. oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Look at these gorgeous swirls, so beautiful. Oh, I didn't even notice that there's this gorgeous gold swirl at the top of it too. Definitely a good bar for Christmas. I think this is the first bar we should try out. Okay. And our purpose for buying these was not just to support Alberta soap businesses, but also to show you how different all these companies are. There's so many different ways to sell soap. Each one of these have their own unique way 
of doing that. And these prices were all across the board and the highest price wasn't necessarily for the biggest bar. And yet we saw people buying these at every booth. They were all busy. It's just so cool to see how diverse soap businesses are within one city or one province. And we will let you guys know as we use these guys what our thoughts are because not only are they so different in how they look and how they're packaged, but their ingredients were all different too. Like this has wine in it. This one had turmeric in it. Nicaragua coffee in this one. So don't be afraid to experiment and put your own spin when it comes to your own soaps and your own company. And the more unique angles you put into your marketing, the more you'll stand out. And it's not as hard as you think it is. It can just be as simple as a heart cut out in your box or selling your soaps in these linen bags. All of these details make a difference. Hey Dempsey, she looks like a seal with her short legs. <laughs> we have a lot of sleepy animals in this room. We heard a doorbell ring and this package was delivered and I think I'm gonna open it in front of you guys. Not 100% sure what it is. It's from Whitaker and Bull, and they actually reached out to me asking if I wanted to try some of their products. So I said, sure, why not? So this is what you see when you open the box. Give the gift of art this holiday season. So this is the box that was in there. And there's a drawer handle at the other end of it that you slide open. So here it is. Looks like we got a candle and a cute little match container full of matches. I think that's super cute. Wow, this would make a really awesome gift. Here is the candle. Oh, that's an interesting scent. This smells like oranges. It smells like orange soda. Yeah, I think oranges too. It smells so good. Orange creamsicle. Yeah, and their containers are so cute and unique. Oh my God, look at this. Powerpuff Girls, what? Says Gazintite over here. This is a really unique candle container. There's a salmon here. This is the artist and her name is Hannah and that adds such a nice touch to the candle container, how it's someone's art that they put together. Oh, I can't wait to light that. Thank you for sending this Whitaker and Bull if you guys are interested in looking at their candles and what they have to offer. I have a link to their website down below. This is a cool touch. I love this. You can reuse this too and fill it with more matches once you use up all these matches. We were actually confused as to how we were going to strike this match. Kale thought that they might be strike anywhere matches, but it looks like there is a rough surface here on the box that you can light the match with. So let's see how well it works. Perfect. Wow. And just a few more details. This is a coconut and soy wax and it's an eight ounce candle. This company's branding and packaging is on point. So, so beautiful. You want to come outside with us, Gibbs? Oh no, are you deflating him? Yeah, I wanted to see where it was going to go, but now I'm going to put in the, um, the tight ounce. <laughs> just so Santa, you're very flexible. <laughs> this is like he's saying, help me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. They look so cute together. Hey everyone, night has fallen and it is now dinner time. Look how cool this gift set looks. This candle smells really good too. By the way, we've been burning it all day. And this is what the melt pool looks like. Wow, this all looks really good. Thank you so much for cooking. These wings are a staple in our house. It's like the one meat that we always constantly have in our freezer because it's so good. And we think it, the price is pretty good for them. Yeah. 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 You get a lot of meals out of that big pack. 
We only have a few days of Vlogmas left, but if you guys have been loving them, please subscribe because we still have more Vlogmas content to give to you guys. Someone suggested in the comments of the video that I posted today for us to do a live stream on Christmas Day. And I'm excited about the idea of doing that. We have a few days to think about it. I'm really tempted to do it. Let us know if you guys want us to do something like that. That's totally out of our element but I'm willing to do it if there's an overwhelming yes to that question. That'd be really fun and really it interesting would. to see what, like, to, as we're opening gifts. Yeah, we would be opening our presents for you guys. That's one of the ideas that we had. We got a few orders today, so I'm glad that we got all of the orders out yesterday and we have a little bit of time, a little bit of breathing room for the next ones that come mm -hmm. in. If you don't want to order from us and you want to make products like us, you can do that on our Patreon. We have our recipes on there, over 80 of them. So if you want to check that out, that is linked down below. Speaking of our Patreon, thank you to our patrons. You guys, you know you're awesome and you know that we appreciate and love you, but I'm going to thank you still anyways, especially these guys, our Bubble BFFs. So generous and so kind. Thank you guys so much. And that's it. We're going to eat our dinner. And until the next one, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things, and have a happy holidays. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night.